Copy. Affirmative, Ethan. I'm into their network. Got eyes on you now. What about enemy positions? Got eyes on those two, sir. This is suicide, Reyes. I gave my order, Salt. The captain doesn't always bring his men home. Not always. This is your staff, sir. Looks to be clear. Check. Junction room. Should be full of stock you can swipe. Last haul, huh? Regrettably, sir. All set. Where to? All way to the floor. Guns close. Copy. Hostile airships are moving to your sector. Copy. Eyes on. Out. Captain, you got company on the exit. Copy that. Partner. In spite of the situation, I'm enjoying myself, sir. Me too. I'm clear here, Ethan. Good shooting, sir. You'll need to take the elevator to firing control. Almost there. Copy. Ethan, hostile 
forces are aboard the Lieutenant's destroyer. Sir, fire and control entry is dead ahead. Be advised, room is occupied with armed personnel. Roger that. Overload the circuits, melt the relays on the ship locks. Ethan, why do you need me for this? Core is electromagnetic. Shock may disable my processor. I'll need your help to stay mobile. <laughs> Get me inside the distribution room and we can overload it in time. My chassis can sustain temps well above this, sir. Keep moving. Core room is just up ahead.
Looks like it's overloading. Let's get out of here. No, sir. Car is still holding. They don't need a charge to set it off. My self-destruct, sir. The detonation will ignite the core. It'll set off a chain reaction and blow the war in. There's gotta be another way. I'm afraid not, sir. I understand the conflict, Captain. I'm ready. I promise. Good luck, Rhea. It's been an honor, sir. was all mine. Both officers aware of the imminent danger, in spite of extensive casualties planned and skillfully executed, an attack with unwavering devotion to their duty. Commander Reyes and Lieutenant Salter gallantly offered their own lives and those of their crew, mobilizing their close range against superior firepower. The operation eliminated vital numbers of enemy vessels and destroyed the settlement defense France orbital shipyard. The officer's commitment exhibited the highest traditions of naval service. Peace to the fallen. Hey, Mom. Dad. When I joined the Marines, I told you that I'm ready to give my life for fighting for a good cause. If I don't come home for any reason, then that's what happened. I hope I died doing something heroic. And in the long run, I hope that I made you proud. I promised myself I wouldn't get close to people here, but it's kind of impossible not to. I wasn't scared here. But I was homesick. Mom, I had a dream 
last night that you were making dinner. Yes, my favorite pork chops. <laughs> and we were all at the table together. Tell Aunt Joyce I said hi and I love her. And give Bailey a big kiss and a new tennis ball from me. Everyone here has a mother and father, but you and dad only have one son. So I'm sorry I didn't make it back. Simplify. Your loving son, Todd. Marta, the Navy has made my life a long distance love affair. The things I love are all far away, my home, my animals, you. I am doing important work. I'm ready for anything, even this. The military did not take my life. I volunteered it. I know this isn't easy. Please don't cry for me or us. Cry for a world that couldn't make peace. I think of you and my heart races. I smile, I laugh out loud, and people tell me I always seem so happy. I am. I have you. Yours forever. Sir, we're behind enemy lines now in the heat of battle. Time is short. You've given an order from which there is likely no return. You did what had to be done. All in. I'm proud of you. You're a born leader, sir. Today was one of the worst days in history, and uh, forgive me for saying it, but it was the greatest day of my life. I did everything I was trained for and more. Together, we fought the good fight. Over Titan, you said we were brothers. I always wanted to know what a family really is. Now I do. Admiral Reigns told me that a soldier is only as good as his last mission. If this is ours, then I can say with certainty, we were damn good, sir. Better to burn out than it is to rust. Metal one, out. Dear Andrew, it's Fleet Week. More ships are dry docked against the dawn sky. I'm home, but it's not home without you. I know I had what every woman envied, a husband that gave life more meaning. You were my handsome better half. Since the day we locked eyes, I thought of you constantly. I still do. The internal drive that earned me my rank cost me a marriage. The Navy imbued me to accomplish the mission and never quit. To that end, I'll never stop loving you, no matter where or when I go. Thank you. Being together was a gift. With love always, Laura. Sir? I'm not quite sure how a son greets his father after not seeing him for a lifetime. I guess I'll say hi, Dad. I finally tracked down your address through the Human Resource Department in Washington. I had to use my birth certificate to prove we were related. I want you to know I followed in your footsteps. I joined the Navy, thought it would make you proud. And if we ever saw each other, we'd have more to talk about. I went to sniper school to be a sharpshooter, but my vision changed. I became an instructor. I'm currently deployed aboard the UNSA Carrier Retribution. My mom Sandy passed away this year. I went back to the old house just before shipping out and found a box with your silver star for valor. My mom kept it all this time. I wish I'd known you still lived in Tennessee. I would have dropped by. Could have had a beer and caught up. 
I forgive you for leaving. I hope you're not mad at me for writing. Thanks for helping bring me into this world. I did my best to be a good man. Maynard Griffin. To my dearest wife, Sarah, my son, Noah, and my daughter, Abby. If you're reading this, I can tell you with the utmost confidence that I'd die for something right and just. The cost of war is higher than any one life. And I happily give mine in defense of my men and family. Abby, I'm sorry I didn't keep my promise when I said I was coming home. My hopes for your future gave me the strength to protect everything we hold dear. You will always be daddy's little girl. Noah, be an honest man. Keep your word. Only use violence as a last resort. You're the man of the house now. Sarah, please keep our baby safe and find it in your heart to forgive me for leaving you alone. If my last breath is not in the battlefield, then surely it will be in your arms. Keep me in your hearts, always. My dearest children. Well, as this letter will only be used in the event of my death, it may seem somewhat sorrowful, but I don't want you to see it that way, okay? I have always felt that our stay on Earth, the time we call life, <laughs> it's a temporary gift to be spent in service of something greater than ourselves. Death comes to us all. It is not to be feared. I loved my job, but I hated war but the secret mission I undertook every single day was to protect the two of you from anyone or anything that threatened your health and well-being. So promise me, you will take care of one another and please live your lives to the fullest. With all the love in my heart, Mum. For my dear wife, Olivia, and my daughter, Nisreen. If you are reading this, I guess I didn't make it home. I was prepared to face danger and death. I hope I did so with dignity. My time was cut short, but I had countless blessings. I married the perfect woman. I have a brand new daughter on the way. I'd be selfish to ask for more. I love you, Olivia. Welcome our baby into this world and cherish her for me. Remind her about her daddy. And please, never be afraid to do what you need to find happiness. Nisreen, hello, sweetheart. I left for this tour before you were born. I'm sorry I won't be able to see you grow up. Daddy wanted to make the world a better place. That's why we made you. Keep me in your prayers and try to do one good deed every day. Be safe, my family. Victor. <laughs>